Hey, Auntie Babies and Boogie Woogies. Uh, just got bite from the bank. Sitting out here. Oh, um, in the um, in the car, in the SUV. Doing um, I said I'm gonna do a little chitty chat. It's such a beautiful day out here today. The weather is nice. Everything is nice out here today. Well, anyway, you, um, Auntie Baby and Boogie Woogies, I'm new to all of this. This is so new to me, and I didn't, I didn't um, expect to be going through all this conflict. <laughs> I didn't. I had no idea I would encounter such conflict because, um, like I say, I don't, I don't know that woman. That's all I know about two weeks ago when I had made this video about Nosy Hill going to the Fed prison. She, and uh, a subscriber had came to me in my comments and say, Auntie, Hammy, Mammy, whatever her name is. I still don't know the girl's name. I still don't know her name. She's over there on her YouTube page and she disgusting you. She did talking about you. And I goes over there and she telling me, you know, she saying stuff about my teeth and which that don't bother me at all. Why would I make comments like that? Just getting all deep into my business. I know if you don't like my story, you don't have to watch it. You don't have to, you know, have to um, like say all these terrible things about it, you know, because the way you feel about it and all this. Because I, I don't know you. I don't know that young girl. But I thank God she's not my daughter. Because I don't know who her mama. I don't know who in the hell raised her. But she wasn't disrespectful little piece of shit. And that's all I got to say. I, I didn't have no kind of conflicts with this woman. This woman came after me. And by me being a Scorpio and an older woman... I'm going to defend myself, you know. I'm going to defend myself, Boogie Woogie and Auntie Babies. I'm going to defend myself. You know, the Auntie Babies is the young ones. And the ones that close to my age, those are the Boogie Woogies. Because, you know, <laughs> we so close to age, you know, the Boogie Woogies. Because I, I know I got all kind of subscribers. And I appreciate all of y'all. I really do. But anyway, um, she started with me. Yep, she started with me because first thing a person always want to go after my teeth. And you know, I'm happy with my teeth. I go to the dentist and the dentist tell me that I'm lucky to have these teeth in my mouth at my age. And I still got them. They might not be in the perfect shape that everybody want them. And down to the bottom where they go cross like that's a birthmark. That's a birthmark with all of some of us in the family received from my daddy. My oldest sister got the same thing. She don't like it neither. But, you know, you can't help when you get older, they get worse. So they go to crossing up down there to the bottom. But they still in good condition. So that's the main thing. As long as they ain't in good condition. Because I'm not trying to um, get fancy for nobody at, at 62. I let everything go. I will be in a few weeks. But anyway, um, this girl, she just came up out the blue. She just, you know, started saying all this stuff about me. And, and I'm going to defend myself. You know, that's the way I was raised. I, that's like I did that other video. I was telling y'all I used to whoop the bully's ass in school. And <laughs> I'm still the same way. You know, but it's a shame. That this girl don't have no respect. How could you talk about a 62-year-old woman that you don't know? Don't know nothing about this woman. Don't know who she related to or nothing. And then threaten to have some people to whoop me up. That's what the whole said. Girl, you know you really, you really out of pocket. You really out of pocket. You shouldn't have even went there. You want to take a 62-year-old woman. You want your, your um, 
uh, um, clients or whatever, groupies or whatever they is, to attack me. You know something? I know they just looking at your ass, and they they probably talking behind your motherfucking back. They probably saying that hoe ought to be ashamed of herself. She ain't got. She, she can't find nobody her damn equal, so she want to go and attack a sixty seven year old woman with multiple grandchildren, godchildren, somebody who could easy easy ss find your ass. Mm-hmm, sure can. And you're running your damn mouth. You don't know what a powerful woman I am. You don't know who I represent. <laughs> you really don't. You really don't, girl. So for you to try to type me, and you know some of them, if I tell them about the video, they go see it. But most of them say they don't want to see it because they say they don't want to get in trouble. Because y'all know how it feel when it come down to you, Auntie Loretta. You know how we feel when it come down to you. Yes, that's all my nieces and nephews, the ones who don't did fed time and all that shit, and they don't, they don't care nothing about doing some more time. But, you know, I wouldn't even want to put my family on the spot for a, a, a little trifling ass be like that. I really wouldn't. Because just like I said, she going to get hers. She going to get hers. Now, you can make all, you can keep on making videos about me because I already report you to Facebook. Because you know Facebook do not effing play. This woman had a picture of me on her fucking Facebook. It's sad. Because I came back, you came after me first, and I came back at you. I mean, it's just a sad. Why could why you just get out there and talk about two hours about a 62-year-old woman, about how her teeth is, and how she wear her lashes, and how she wear her wig? What do your mammy look like, girl? Show a picture of your mammy. Or she's somewhere with a crack pipe stuck in her damn mouth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what I heard. I heard your mama on crack. Sure did. That's how you think people don't know you, but they know you. <laughs> okay? And they tell all your damn business. But young lady, I'm telling you, and I'm not going to tell you no more. You don't know who you're bothering. You don't know who you're messing with. That's why I told you, you should have did some damn research on Loretta Brown. You should you should, you should have did something. Because I hadn't did nothing to you. But I took down my videos because I couldn't take the hours I can die away. Acting like you. And I definitely don't want to act like you. You might be a successful comedian, but I ain't never heard of you. I ain't never seen you in no damn movies. The only thing I ever seen you make one song, pew, 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 in three years, you got 1.5 million. You didn't get a million a year, honey. That's three years. 1.5 1. million in three years. That's that's kind of low for somebody to talk about they will sign. <laughs> okay. But um this is for my boogie woogies and, uh, and and you know auntie babies. I'm gonna, you know, uh, auntie is not perfect. I ain't I don't want to be perfect. And I ain't trying to be perfect. But the hoe was so stupid. She didn't know that the the wigs and the eyelashes is part of my company. The hoe didn't know that. <laughs> but you supposed to be a comedian, though. See, I could have taught you so much. I could have even wrote for you. I really could have got you out there, girl, where you would have been doing movies and everything. But you fucked it up. I really could have helped you. But you fucked it up because you tried to judge a book by their damn cover. Obviously, if I'm 62 and my teeth still like that, that got to tell you something. It ain't that I ain't got the damn money to get my damn teeth. If I drive trucks around and beautiful house, I got money to get my damn, I don't want to get my damn fix, teeth fixed. I don't want no cosmetic. 
If I ever get me a damn T50, they're going to be like Amar uh, Wiggins and Tasha K. <laughs> like the big dog. But other than that, I ain't got time for the bullshit. If I'm happy with my motherfucking teeth, leave me the fuck alone. Because all the all the things that you trying to say and, and, and what you want to say, that ain't going to stop me from having my damn teeth in my mouth, honey. My teeth going to be here till the day I die. I can't say the same for you. Because they just that damn strong. They can go another 20 years. Or better. Okay? Hmm. So, honey, I wish you the best. I wish you the best. But if you keep on marking Miss Loretta, keep on doing stuff to her, baby, I just, I, I just feel for you. I feel for you. I feel for you. I really, really feel for you. So I had to come out here and do y'all this little car chit chat sitting out here in the SUV. I got to take the other SUV to the shop because my grandson, he tripping, talking about suddenly. Uh, but anyway, you guys, y'all enjoy your day. Auntie Loretta came out here and tried to... Uh, explain that situation with y'all about that damn woman and uh i think this is gonna be the last time i'm gonna be addressing her and like i say you know she'll i'm quite sure she'll keep making her videos and she can keep on making them because that's about the only thing she had for her until auntie loretta came along okay but you know i know that's not me that don't look like me that's not the color of me ain't nothing that she do compared to me and i guess everybody see that when they see me they say damn she really exaggerated about that damn woman that damn woman is attractive <laughs> and gorgeous <laughs> making her ass look like a damn fool okay auntie babies and boogie woogies i love y'all and thanks for supporting me and thanks for being there for me. And thanks for listening to me. And uh, like and subscribe. Tell all your friends. Tell all your friends. Bye.